The last major volcanic eruption on U.S. soil was M.T. St. Helens in Washington State in May of 1980, which destroyed 230 square miles of mostly wilderness but some buildings too. What a lot of people don't know is that there is a large volcano underneath Yellowstone National Park. This volcano is active and it is being watched 24 hours a day. Nature is in control at Yellowstone. Bison roam free. Crystal clear water flows freely. On the surface, it's tranquil. It's what's happening beneath the ground that brought us here. We are on top of the volcano, we are here sensing the moods and personality changes of the volcano. Hank Kiesler has been a Yellowstone National Park geologist since 2002. Five years ago, the U.S. Park Service asked him to move his home into a residential area inside Yellowstone, following a series of intense earthquakes. It was proceeding in an unusual way so we went to an incident command system and talked about ways to get park staff out. No evacuations were needed, but it was a wake-up call. All the heat that's coming out is due to the fact that we have molten rock, partially molten rock, within a few miles of the surface. The molten rock, created by the volcano, is the force behind Yellowstone's series of hot water geysers. There are 900 worldwide. 500 of them are here. That's all tied to the heart of Yellowstone, which is the underlying volcano. On this cold winter day, the heat from these geysers meeting the cold air sends stacks of steam into the air. What you can't see, but might feel, are the earthquakes which happen here almost daily. In 2010, when Hank Kiesler was asked to move into the park, there were more than 3,200 earthquakes. The following year the number fell to 670. In recent years, earthquake activity here has been ramping up again. More than 1,800 in 2013. More than 1,900 last year. Some quakes are relatively small, magnitude ones. One in March of last year was a 4.8. The frequency of earthquakes doesn't necessarily mean it's a suicidal place to be or live. Kiesler tells me, outside of California, Yellowstone is the most seismically active place in the nation. Volcanism is in Yellowstone's future. There is no doubt about it. The question many are asking, will it be a super eruption? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com